it is less functional, it is making less MSCs, right. Remember MSC 1, we will talk about it what is MSC 1. When it is less functional, it makes less MSC 1, this natural killer cell is going to move his hand on the cell and feel that oh my god, there are less MSC 1s. The cell is not clean, it is not tidy, it is not neat, its plants are not trimmed properly and it is going to kill that cell. So, the innate system mostly tries to pick up pathogens which are sitting around in the streets and running around and causing problem, but innate system also has the capability of identifying the cells which are sick and eating them up or killing those cells. So, very very important effector in that regard is natural killer cell. It is continuously doing surveillance figuring out the tumor cells by detecting mica on the cell or figuring out the virus infected cells or pathogen which is intracellular by detecting less MHC1 and then he kills those cells. So, that is the innate side, these are the cells. There is one more thing, on the innate side, so these were the effector cells, if I go through them very quickly, bone marrow makes them, the cells are natural killer, type of T cells taking part in innate cell, they would detect a cancer cell by detecting mica, they would detect a cell with the intracellular pathogens by detecting less density of the MHC1 and it would, remember we talked about it in our last lecture, perforins and granzymes and defensines are thrown and the cell is killed, okay. So, it has its own, its own shooting material. Then we have leukocytes or white blood cells, we have eosinophils, eosinophils do two things they have major basic proteins, they can cause asthmatic, uh, they, the major basic protein causes damage to the epithelium causing the, the asthma plus they are useful in killing the um, larvae. Then um, mast cell basophils, they are mostly important to understand because they are the causative agent for anaphylaxis because they have histamine. Neutrophil very, very important dude for the innate system. He has a very bad burner inside and he can really kill bacteria. He does not present them to anyone, he does not show them off, he just eats them, kills them. Macrophage, antigen presenting cell, it is a professional cell, he is a monocyte which moves from the cell into the tissue, he is a macrophage, he has, he secretes interleukin 1, 6, 8, tumor necrosis factor, macrophage inhibitory factor, uh, NO. Uh, uh, granulocyte, monocyte, colony stimulating factor, granulocytes, colony stimulating factors and so on, many, many chemical substances. He has a huge list of speed dials to call out for help to other things. So, really badass thing, really big dude and he is a connector or a bridge between the two sides. So, do not ever forget about the macrophage, we will talk more. Dendritic cell, sort of a macrophage. Dendritic cells are actually also coming from the monocyte line, but they sit in the cell, they have very thin dendrites, they kill the bacteria as well or the pathogen and show that on the MSC2. They are also professional antigen presenting cells, professional. There are three APCs, macrophage, dendritic cell and B cell. There are four phagocytic cells, neutrophil, macrophage, dendritic cell, B cell, but neutrophil is not an APC, neutrophil is not an APC, okay. Now, let us see this thing, this little boat over here, this is liver. So, this is another factory in the Johnville or Janeville and what that does is, if, of course, it makes proteins, right, liver has a lot of functions, it is the powerhouse of the body, but in our context here, it makes proteins, proteins are like weapons. So, Janeville has its own little weapons which it uses to throw at the, at the pathogens and kill them. So, what are the important proteins? So, it makes complement system. So, C3A and C3B. So, if you see there are two components here. So, one is A and the other one is B. We will talk more about what they do. C3A is called anaphylotoxin. C, C5A is also called anaphylotoxin. They are chemotactic as well. Then C3B, we call it opsonin. So, what that means is, it is funny, when the pathogen jumps in, 
to our body when the criminal climbs the wall and comes in all of a sudden what happens is c3 bees and go and they attach with it with the pathogen now pathogen finds that oh my god what is this attached to me so he's got an c3 b here he's got an c3 b there the problem is these c3 bees are very well recognized to see these teeth of the macrophage macrophage has teeth which it has a sweet tooth for c3b as it can detect c3b on the surface of a macrophage and eat it so this is like a flag we attach that flag to a to a pathogen we mark it and then we have the cops who come and pick up the marked things right so that is a c3b similarly we have membrane attack complex which is another set of proteins complement system which drill hole in the membrane of the pathogen so it's like the pathogen is moving around and having fun and all of a sudden something comes and drills a huge hole in it all the substances from the pathogen they spill out and pathogen dies so membrane attack complex again complement system made by the uh, liver then we have apo 